Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I have something super exciting. Um, this is sort of an unboxing, <laughs> but not really. Uh, so uh, my partner got to this package before I did, so it is already open, but I haven't actually seen the contents, so <laughs> I'm excited to see what is inside here. Um, it is a flute that I was sent by um, the Aklat company. So I'm really excited. It's a Chinese flute called a Dizi. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> um, and I am super excited to open this up and give this a try because I have been um, a Western flute player for years and years and years. Um, so yeah, it should be fun to open this up. So here we go. Um, so let's take the accessories out first. Oh, it's a pretty little knot. My guess is that is decorative to put on there. And then we have oh, one more thing in here besides the flute. Oh, so this is the membrane, but I looked it up and this is a super interesting instrument. Basically, um, without being culturally insensitive, it's like a combination of a flute and a kazoo. <laughs> Um, these little membrane papers, um, let me open it up and kind of give you an idea. So they're super small and super thin and they are very much like the membrane of a kazoo. Um, it's just like a very light paper that air can pass through. Um, and when the air passes through it, then it gives off this very um, buzzy kind of sound. So that's what makes this flute sound a lot different than a lot of other bamboo flutes that you find throughout the world. So um, I'm excited to try this out. <laughs> ah, and here is, oh, the bag with our flute in it. And it looks like it comes in two separate pieces. So let's, oh, this is really pretty. <laughs> Oh, I just really love that wood color, and it's so shiny. And there's a lot of Chinese characters up there. Obviously, I have no idea what that says. <laughs> um, and this up here is really, really pretty. It looks like a marble, but it must be like a resin because it's super light, but very pretty. <laughs> um, and let's get the other part of that out. There we go, there is the second half of the flute. Oh, and there you see the D, because um, it's in the key of D. And I think these are the finger holes. So, um, what we're gonna do is match metal to metal um, and try and find the holes so the holes will line up. Okay. Wiggle that on there until the holes are all lined up. Yep. And there we have it. <laughs> here is our Dizzy. Um, for what I understand, this right here is the mouth hole. This is the hole that we're gonna put the membrane over um, so that it has that buzzy sound. And these six are the finger holes because you just use your first three fingers on both hands. Um, and then down here, this is the space for the little charm that came with it. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna put on the membrane. Um, I've never done this before, so this is probably going to be kind of tricky. Um, and it didn't come with any of the glue um, that usually it comes with, so that you can glue it over the top of that little hole. But I read that a traditional method is to use cut garlic for your glue, um, which, I mean, garlic is super sticky, so I'm going to give it a try, <laughs> and we'll see how that works. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take the membrane and cut a little bit off, just enough to cover that hole. There we go. And now we have to look at it. And yes, it forms sort of like a circle now. Um, and we wanna cut that so that it's into a rectangle. So we're just gonna very carefully slide the scissors inside of it um, and kind of pull that down and then carefully cut it. So then we end up with this square of membrane. <laughs> now, um, to put the membrane on, what I'm going to do is 
And here's our membrane hole, the second hole. Um, I'm gonna just touch my finger to the garlic and rub it around the edge of the hole um, in order to wet that surface um, so we can glue it on. Now here's the other thing you need to do. Um, when you look at the membrane, and you probably can't see it on there, but when you look at it in real life, you'll see that it has lines going in a certain direction. Okay, so my lines are going that way. Um, and then you want to take it and stretch it the other way so that you get some stretchy lines going perpendicular to the lines that you already had. And these are the lines that are gonna make it really buzzy. Okay, so we've got that. Now, I'm gonna grab our garlic and we're gonna put the membrane on. <laughs> okay, so I've got my finger wet with some garlic stuff. And this is just like a basic overview to be really clear. You should probably go and watch somebody else do this who knows what they're doing on YouTube before you um, try this yourself because this is my first attempt and we're just gonna see how it goes. Um, so I've got that and then we're gonna hold the membrane down on one side and then stretch it over to the other side. Okay, and that's pretty straight. And you can see there um, that a lot of it is wet. That's the part that's sort of wood colored um, and sticking. Um, so now I'm just gonna go get some more of the garlic and without getting it on my fingers, <laughs> I'm gonna wet down um, the rest of the membrane so that whole thing will stick and be sealed because we don't want any air getting through that. Um, the air getting through that is what's going to make it have not the sound that you're looking for because we want it to have that kind of really buzzy, um, non-clear sound. So we want to get that sealed down really good so that we definitely have the right sound. <laughs> Um, so without putting on that membrane, um, you're going to have a super hard time playing this flute. Um, and it's not going to be in the key that you want it to be in. <laughs> um, the membrane, while it does act as the buzz creator, um, it also does actually block the flow of air right there for the most part. Um, so it's like holding down that hole. Uh, so if you're not holding down that hole with the membrane, the flute's just going to sound totally all off. <laughs> Okay, and now we have reached the final stage of putting together the DZ. Um, we're gonna put this cute little knot into the flute. <laughs> so the way that this works is you need to thread it in one side, and then in theory, it will come out the other. <laughs> and uh, we can loop it around. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, and now that we've got it through both of the holes, we're going to take this part and loop it through the loop that's created. And just pull it through there. Gotta get the whole fancy decorative thing in there. And there we go. Now it hangs so pretty. <laughs> gotta kinda get the loopies back up there, but yeah, super pretty. <laughs> Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, if you want to click the subscribe button right up there, then you can subscribe to my channel and see all my new videos. And if you would like to check out my Patreon, the link is down there in the description. <laughs> thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day.